Hello and welcome to the 77th weekly vlog. I'm, wait, I'm pretty sure it's the 77th, damn. Yeah, 77th weekly vlog. Oh my goodness, I forgot what week it was. Do this every week, it's a standard thing over here on Tea Time with Kira, innit? <laughs> Yeah, hello. I don't really have a lot to say. Well, I do. I have one major thing to say. I've finished my photography exam. I am no longer a photography student. Yes. Oh my goodness. I have been so stressed with photography and now it is all done. I'm so glad. I'm gonna put my tripod on because this is hurting my arm already. There we go. Yeah, so I handed in everything for my photography exam today and I'm so unbelievably happy about that. Yeah, it's all finished. All 15 hours of my exam are done. I had 10 minutes to spare of the whole exam. So, 10 minutes to spare. But I've done it. I'm no longer a student of photography. And however, I am a little saddened by that because I have loved everything about like college and everything and but I've, I've not hated photography. I've just not enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it last year. I'm so glad it's done. It was the one thing that I was like, just wanting to get finished. Photography's done. I just can't get over how like photography's done forever. Like, oh my God. That means college is nearly done. That means film's nearly done. No, oh no. <laughs> Gotta start my life properly now. Still don't really know what I'm doing over this next year. I'll find something to do, don't you worry. Oh my god, oh my god! Ah! My greatest showman DVD's arrived. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's got a sing-along edition. Yay. And they've also just announced they're making this into a Broadway musical. So I basically need to get my backside to New York to go and see this because I love it so much. So it's currently Tuesday. It's currently 10 o'clock. I am off to Bournemouth because I don't have a lesson, firstly, thing, first thing this morning, which is wonderful, because I'm no longer a photography student. <laughs> but I'm off to Bournemouth this morning. I decided last minute, like literally last night, that I thought, why don't I go to the cinema tomorrow morning to get out of the house? I do have a lot of work to do, but why don't I just say to myself for this week, why don't I go to the cinema and watch a film? Because I love film. I'm a film student, I want to make films with my life. Why don't I go watch a film? And there's so many films in the cinema that I want to see at the moment. So many films coming out this summer that I want to see. Um, so I need to get crack a in on these films. So I've decided that I'm going to go see a film this morning. There's a showing of I Feel Pretty at quarter past ten. Um, hopefully I'll get there on time. I mean, I know you have like the 20 minutes worth of adverts beforehand, so it should be okay. But I thought, why not go and see a film? So I'm going to see I Feel Pretty, which is the new Amy Schumer one. Apparently it's really funny. And I, I quite like Amy Schumer anyway, so I thought, why not? I've got my Odeon Limitless card, which I don't use enough. I need to go to the cinema more often to get like my money's worth for it. Because it is quite an expensive thing if you don't go to the cinema. Um, but if you go to the cinema a lot, it is well worth it. So I need to use that. I'm going to go, I'm going to go do that this morning. And I will let you know what what the film is like afterwards because yeah, I'll just I'll just let you know because that's a, what a nice thing to do would be, isn't it? This morning I actually um, wrote a couple of blog posts and I'm so proud of myself because these last few weeks I've been really lazy with both my upload schedule on YouTube and my upload schedule on my blog for like the last month I guess I've been a bit rubbish with both of these things, but before that. I uploaded twice a week on my blog and then once if not twice a week on my YouTube channel and I've been so bad at that so I'm trying to rectify that situation so I'm really proud of myself for writing two posts one of them has gone up one of them will go up tomorrow and then I have a third one for Friday um, because there's just so much going on at the moment that I just feel like I need to write constantly on the blog at the moment like there's lots of events as you see in the vlogs I always like to I don't always have to write a blog post on the event 
I just really like writing a blog post because I'm so grateful that these brands and companies ask me, of all people, to go to like their events and you know the Bournemouth blog community and the Southampton blog community invite me to events and stuff. I'm just very grateful that they invite me and so I feel like a little favour in return is to put them in the weekly vlog and to write a little blog post and obviously I'm going to be sharing it on Instagram and Twitter like that's just a thing. So yeah I just feel like I need to do that as like a thank you for inviting me I don't know. I never have sometimes I always say when at events if I've had to have written the blog post um, because sometimes that changes it doesn't change how I write I'm, I'm, I'm always honest in all of my um, blog posts and everything or as honest as yeah no I am honest I'm very honest so yeah I'm really proud of myself for writing blog posts and last night I uploaded my April favorites so I'm really proud of that as well I managed to do that I think it went up at like half seven eight o'clock so a bit late because I normally like to do it either like 4 p.m. or 6 p.m. I don't know why those are two times in my head that are just times that I have to upload on but they just are they're just the times in my head that I go yep yeah, that's my upload schedule weird but anyway I am I'm not too far away from the cinema probably about 10 minutes so I might be I might be five minutes late but that's okay I still got to go pick up my tickets and stuff so I need to do that because on, OD, on the limitless card you can't like print your tickets off or you you have to go to like a person and they scan your limitless card which is so annoying I feel like there are so many ways they could do it so that they so I don't have to talk to someone because <laughs> they're always like oh it's only just the one ticket yes it is just the one ticket don't judge because I really like going to the cinema on my own I go fairly actually most of the time I go to the cinema now I actually do it on my own um, it used to be like a really big social event going to the cinema but now now it's not <laughs> now I just go to the cinema because I enjoy watching films I just really like going to the cinema um, and my mum doesn't want to go all the time which is fair enough and um, my friends don't live near me to go and see the films and not they're not always interested in the same films I want to see like my friend Alice I doubt she'll go see I feel pretty at all um, whereas I, I really wanted to see that film because I feel like it's gonna be quite funny so we've all got different tastes and everything and so I thought I'll go on my own use my limitless card go on my own and um, go see the film I'm, I've done it many a time seeing a film on my own before it's not like a brand new thing um, and I really enjoy it and everyone says oh you're so brave doing that but then I say like I, I like return that and I like say no I'm not brave because technically we all go to the cinema on our own we might just sit with friends but we sit in silence for like two three hours the only bit that I guess is the daunting bit is the walking in by yourself and the walking out by yourself but to be honest I'm not phased by that because I mean I've done it loads of times now okay so I've just come out of seeing I feel pretty at the cinema and it's fair to say that that was the most ridiculous film I have ever seen Mare con on it's really hot in the car geez yeah it was really good though I did really enjoy the film yeah I don't really know what to say about it to be honest I did quite like it it's not my favorite film ever but I did quite like it it's really hot gas open the window but yeah it was just the most ridiculous film I've ever seen I think like the plot line was ridiculous but at the same time it was quite like I don't know I don't know how to feel about it because if you don't know it's about um, Renee who is well it's Amy Schumer so she's a little bit on the plus side not really she's not like me in any way and I don't know she just kind of feels that she's not pretty enough and things like that and I get that a lot like that you're not pretty enough and everything for for life and things, things like that so I, I get how she feels about that yeah I don't, I don't really know what to say about the film apart from the fact I actually I did actually quite like it it was quite good it wasn't like laugh out loud funny if you know what I mean I mean it was amusing but it wasn't like <laughs> all the time there are a few like sniggers from like the five other people in the audience 
Like, so there was, there was six of us in the entire audience of that screening. But then at quarter past 10 on a Tuesday, most people are at work, aren't they? But I wanted to go and do something a bit different and everything. And otherwise I'd just kind of be sat at home um, doing not very much anyway. I feel pretty, yeah. Mm, it was good, it was, it was quite, it was amusing, I'll say. Um, had little like sniggers in it and everything and it was good. It was good. Good. I I'd say like out of five stars, I'd probably give it like a three. Three and a half. That kind of, I'd probably do that. Yeah. Three, three and a half. Three and a half I'll give it. No. No, I'll go three. <laughs> I'll go three. Um, it was funny. Mm, it was quite funny that. No, three and a half. We'll go three and a half. That's it. Final, final, final decision there. Three and a half out of five. It was good. It was good. I do. I did like it. Go see it if you have a chance. But yeah, now it's actually twenty to one. So I'm probably. I think I might go and grab some food. I might just go get like a meal deal or something from like Tesco's because um, Tesco's is just down the road here. So I might go there and grab some food and then I will actually, I'm actually gonna head to college. I haven't really got anything on at college until 10 to three. But by the time I get there, it's gonna take me at least like half an hour, 40 minutes, probably like 40 minutes. But if I stop at Tesco's, it'll take me longer. Um, I need a drink actually more so than anything so I am definitely stopping at Tesco because I didn't bring a drink with me and like I only had like a quick sip of water this morning so absolutely parched and I'm starving I didn't eat very much for breakfast this morning either so yeah I'm gonna go off to Tesco's and then college and probably I'm, I'm gonna try and I've got um, some stuff I can do at college like essays and um, I know I wrote the blog post this morning, but I want to schedule it and put up the pictures in and edit the photos because I haven't done that yet. So I need to do that. So I'll do that whilst I'm there in the library. So I, I only have like an hour and a half anyway in the library, so it's not that bad. And I could start editing the weekly vlogs. So I haven't done that yet. And I do want to try and get it up on time tomorrow. I think it's time for a quick food haul don't you so I went for the meal deal chicken Caesar wrap until I went to Tesco's <laughs> I've got my absolute favorite crisps McCoy's cheese and onion or cheddar and onion as they call it okay right carrying on with the food haul now that the person next to me has gone part of the meal deal I got a Ribena they didn't have the light one otherwise I always go for the light one not because it's just because I think that has less sugar in or something like that I don't know but I got this and then I also went a little bit over the meal deal and got three more things. I got a water bottle. Um, Smart water was the one they had because I'm so thirsty. I just spill it, dribbled it all down me. But yeah, I'm so thirsty. I have no allegiance to water brands either, but this was 60p, so. I bought a little packet of like fruit, um, apple and grape snack pack. That is part of the meal deal, but I wanted crisps. So, I mean, I got crisps. And then I also bought, these are my favorite like snacks you can buy. They are white chocolate flavored raspberry jelly jumbles. No bloody idea what that means. Basically, they're like Rice Krispie treats. And they've got like, you know those like dried fruit you used to have in like those little like pat bags, like this big. And they, they sometimes, they had yogurt co covered ones and they had just the plain ones. It's like those, they're like jellied, raspberry dried fruit they're not dried raspberries they're not dried raspberries at all they're like jellied raspberries it's basically like a little bit of jelly in there probably not very helpful healthy for you but i love them and they only do them in tesco so i was like well i need to go get some of those and they are right by the meal deal so i bought those but that's everything i bought and that cost me five pounds and ten pence and i got rid of all of my like coppers i am um, I found out all of the like coppers in 10 pence and I had enough thankfully so my purse is now a lot lighter for that. I'm going to eat this I think because I'm so hungry and it's what oh, is one o'clock okay I feel except, except blah, 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 blah. I feel like it's acceptable to eat so I'm going to actually open the window. 
and I'm gonna eat. It's gonna look really weird because I'm on my own and I'm eating in the car. But it's the only chance I get to eat. Because if I go to college and I'll just go straight to the library and get some work done because by the time I get there, it'll be nearly my lesson anyway because it's um, one o'clock now. So yeah. Mm. I have legit just filmed all day in the car. Like I haven't done anything and I'm gonna hate myself in editing because I filmed a lot today. It was so hot. <sighs> so hot today. And my teacher did not have the aircon on in the room and it was just so hot. But anyway, I could have asked him to put it on but it was really cold when we went in. Like, like the aircon had been on for ages and it was really cold. And then it got warmer and I was like, okay, now I'm getting hot. Interesting story for you there. You're welcome for that BT dubs. So yeah, I have media. I actually had a really nice interaction with my media teacher today. On a Tuesday, I have a different media teacher to what I do on a normal basis because, well, I don't know, just timetabling, I guess. And we were just talking. We were studying Game of Thrones today or doing a recap on Game of Thrones because obviously I haven't got long left at college. So it's coming up to exams. We're doing recaps on everything and so we did a recap on game of thrones and at the end of the lesson i was walking out and my teacher stopped me and he went really like your t-shirt i went oh thank you very much and he was like leo and stitch is my favorite disney film and i was like i quite like it too it's a good one and he was like that's the s-h-a-t <laughs> s-h-i-t i can't spell um so yeah just interesting side note for you there Hello, so I'm sat in the college car park right now. It's five to 11. It's Thursday, as you can see. Sorry, I didn't film anything yesterday. Just had a very busy day yesterday and I've got a very busy day ahead of me again today. Um, I've been at college this morning and obviously went to college yesterday and I spent the majority of the day at college yesterday. I was there from like 11 till half four. So I was here, I was here a long time yesterday, so I didn't really vlog anything. And I was like, get to be, getting on with some work and stuff and all things like that and then today I've had college this morning I had media this morning it was a really good lesson because my it was I mean we were talking about we were just going over some stuff and um, we were talking about um, the film Alice in Wonderland the 2010 remake and, and we were talking about why people would want to go and see the film and one of the reasons was because you're a big Disney fan and uh, my teacher instantly pointed out like there's one right there and guess who pointed out oh wait me <laughs> that was a bit of fun and um at the end of the lesson i photocopied some stuff for him that he wanted of mine and um yeah we got we got talking because i went to hollywood with this teacher and um we were talking you know about like oh how have you been and stuff like that you know general chit chat because it was only me and him in the classroom whilst i was sorting out some stuff for him and um I said, oh, I'm good. I'm just very busy at the moment. So if I, because he said I didn't have to do it then, I could do it like later. And uh, yeah, I was, I was just basically saying to him, I'm so busy at the moment. So anything I do, I have to do it like straight away. Otherwise it won't get done because I'll forget about it because I've got so much going on at the moment. Like, I mean, I told him about my schedule for the next like couple of days and he was like, oh, is it with your, your website and stuff and I was like yes it's with my my blog and my YouTube channel yes yes and um, I was like yeah today I've got um, a meeting about something exciting that might be happening um, then I've got an event on at West Key tonight um, which I'll tell you about in a minute and then I was like, and then after that I'm going to the Mayflower Theatre to go and see War Horse and then tomorrow I'm at Parley Golf Course at 12 o'clock um, for a few hours so i'm busy 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 these next couple of days and i told him like there's been at least one if not two or maybe even three events on in the same week and don't get me wrong i love it but it's all kind of come at the wrong time as my exam is in like well my media exam is in less than three weeks and my film exam is three weeks tomorrow so it's a quite there's quite a lot going on and it's well, kind of not come at the wrong time that sounds really horrible but like it's all happening at once and I love it, don't get me wrong. I'm having the best time doing all of this stuff. My social life is like crazy at the moment. But that, yeah, there's just a lot going on. 
it's really good to so any like work I do anything that I need to get done and handed in has to be done straight away otherwise it just won't won't get done uh, saying that I actually need to leave in like five minutes or so um, I've been sat here for like 15 minutes because there was no point getting set up in the library because by the time I walked there um, I'd have been there my lesson finishes at half past but because I was doing some extra bits with my teacher like photocopying stuff for him that he wanted of mine and everything so I left my lesson at about quarter to 11 after I'd done all my stuff and then by the time I'd get to the library it would be 10 to and then I'd have to pack up at five past 11 to be back at my car for about 10 past 11 so essentially I'd have 15 minutes in the library and I didn't see much point of setting up everything for 15 minutes maybe a bit longer because I don't really need to leave till quarter past but I was like there's no real point so I've just sat here and watched the world go by I mean there's been people playing football on the field in front of me so and they're still playing football now so I've been watching them be ridiculous because they're not very good at football and it's more just like a, a wrestling match really so I've just been watching the world go by to be honest and I'm gonna I'm gonna head off to Bournemouth I'm going to the espresso kitchen and I'm meeting someone there and we're gonna have a bit of a chit chat. I don't know how long for, hopefully not that long. It sounds awful, like I don't want to be there that long, but I actually really wanna to go to Southampton. So I wanted to make a bit of a day of it anyway before I found out about this event going on at West Quay um, later tonight, which I'll tell you about in just a moment, I promise. Um, I wanted to make a bit of a day of it. I wanted to go to Primark and I wanted to have a little nip in the Disney store because there's a Disney store in Southampton it's my local one and I wanted to see what they had and everything and possibly buy myself a little something I don't know not sure but yeah that's what I wanted to do and then so that was that and then oh yeah and then I found out I had an event on at West Quay which is in the John Lewis is at the YSL counter they're releasing some new stuff I do have an email bear with me let me get said email up and tell you what they're doing that i will talk to you later on like about it oh the event is to celebrate the the launch of the new furnace alev holographic collection basically there's just some new makeup oh my god someone's just pulled up and they're playing mick jonas right now this is an sos don't want i don't know if you can hear that but they're playing sos by the jonas brothers literal life goals right there that well not life goals but that is amazing um oh my god how many emails do i have and i've just been off my emails for like an like two hours can't cope can't cope so yeah so i wanted to make a day of it anyway then i've got this event on then i think harrison is meeting me at some point to go and we're going to get some food possibly i don't really know and then i might be able to meet up with the rest of the southampton blogger gang who are going somewhere for dinner i don't know i don't really know what's going on there me i've i really want to meet the girls well the other people at um a place called revs let me read the message and then i'm off to the mayflower tonight so i should get going because i've been talking for long enough now um and you want to see everything so it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a good day so I've just finished the meeting. It was actually really interesting. I was only there about an hour, which is quite nice because it means I can head to Southampton. Southamptonia. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna go to Tesco's actually again. And get some petrol so I can get in and out. <laughs> I really should get something to eat because it's half past one. Or do I wait? Mm, I might get, I might just get like a sandwich. I might just get a meal deal without any of the extra bits. So I might get like, I might get like a sandwich and um, a snack or something like that. Because I'm gonna have dinner a bit early tonight because I'm going obviously to, where am I going? What's it called? I'm going to the theater. So I'm gonna get dinner a little bit early. Um, I don't know what or where or how I'm getting dinner yet that situation has not occurred to me at the moment i'll find something to eat don't you worry um so yeah i don't really want to eat too much for lunch otherwise i won't be hungry for dinner and i'm not hungry now because i had that hot chocolate and it was so good um so yeah i need to have a think about that 
I need to fill up my car with petrol because not that I'm like I'm, I'm low I could get to Southampton and back but I'm not sure I could get to college tomorrow morning and no that just would not work <laughs> Back at Tesco's, same Tesco's I was last week, but just parked in a different spot with another food haul. Are you excited? Are you mega excited? I'm excited. So, I only got a meal deal. Very good. I'll show you the bits that are the same. I got McCoy's cheese and onion. I got a Ribena. And then the difference this week, well, this week, today, I got um the, I got the chicken club sandwich which stands for chicken lettuce can't remember what the u stands for well it, it does stand for something but do i eat this now i'm not hungry i'll eat it now <laughs> i'm not hungry but i will eat so yeah i'm gonna be dashing off to southampton i want to go i really want to go to primark sounds awful but i really feel a primark trip is needed right now so i can never open these sandwich packets i don't know why i just struggle with them i really do struggle with them i can never apparently there's a way you're supposed to open them and they become like a plate no that doesn't happen that legit does not happen ever oh my god why can't i open this the struggle is real right now i legit can't open this sandwich for god's sake Maybe um, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm never gonna eat. Ah, oh, oh, oh! We've got a break. <gasps> I made a breakthrough. in the John Lewis at um, West Quay. I've got a little goodie bag of bits here. I'll show you that when I get home. But uh, yeah, I've got some time to kill before I head off to the Mayflower. So I had the foundation redone. She went over my eyeliner, so it's, you can see it's nice and black now. <laughs> um, had some, well, you can see I've got red lipstick on and everything. I think I look quite nice, quite nice. But yeah, I'm just killing some time now. Heading to probably New Look because I've been to both Primark and the Disney store. Head to New Look and then I'm meeting the girls at 5.30 at Revolution in Southampton somewhere. Okay, super quick, I'm gonna show you the gonna show you the products I got from YSL. Um they're all sample sizes. My recording? Yep, yeah, cool. Great, sorry about that. They're all sample sizes, which is really nice, but it's still lovely. This is the little pack pouch I got with the YSL logo on. Um, I got the Black Optimum Eau de Parfum, I think that's how you say it. I got a sample of the Instant Moisture Glow. I got, oh, don't fall down there. I got a, a, a leaflet, another leaflet. Oh, I got another perfume, per perfume, perfume, the Mon Pai Eau de Parfum. I got the Touche Eclair Class Glow Shot. So exciting, it's like Christmas. Oh, what's this? Oh, I got a little sample of the foundation I wore, which was the R Secret. Oh no, it was in shade B20. I also got this little bottle of makeup remover, and I'm so glad I got this because it sounds awful. But I'm actually going to take off my lipstick because I like it, but it's not my favourite. <laughs> and I also got um, a little sample of the Forever Youth Liberator Serum. And I've got into serums recently, many thanks to the spa I went to a few weeks ago. But yeah, I'm actually taking the lipstick off because I like it it's just not my favorite look and it doesn't really match what i'm wearing so i'm going to take it off with this little um little sample so i'm going to take a picture of it though but hopefully i won't be using too much of it i have another lipstick to put on like don't get me wrong i do like it but it's just not really i'm not really feeling it right now i'm feeling 
subtle -ness. There we go. It, it did feel lovely and the staying power of it feels incredible. I had a glass of Prosecco? Champagne? Not quite sure. I had a glass of bubbly, which was amazing by the way. Um, right, I need to get going. I don't really know where, where I'm going to be quite honest with you. It's half past five. Oh my god, I'm supposed to be there. Um, oh, seatbelt might be good. I should probably put Siri on to tell me where I'm going because I'm not sure. I mean, I do know where I'm going, but a little bit of help is always much appreciated. There's my ticket. Let's get out of here. How do, how do I get out is the first question of the day. Um, let's go up here. Um, yeah, I did have a really great time at YSL and everything, and it was really lovely. And I've never had my makeup done by, I've never, well, I've never had my makeup done before. No, I've had it done once, actually, that's a lie. I had it done when I was 16 by Urban Decay. Yeah, I had my makeup done when I was 16 um, at Urban Decay, because I was buying stuff for prom. But yeah, it was, it was actually really nice having my makeup done. I actually enjoyed it. Tried a foundation. Um, we put some more mascara on, which just lengthened my eyelashes. Very lovely. Um, and then, what else? What else did we ha what else did I have done? Had some other stuff and it was just really nice. It's a really nice experience actually to have my makeup done. Yeah, just a really nice experience. Something that I've never really had before. Well, I have had it, but not for a long time. Uh, four years ago that was, well, pretty much this time four years ago. So yeah, it was it was good. And I did, my face does feel quite nice. The foundation is very nice. She didn't put any powder on though. So not something I'm used to, but it's only for a few hours anyway, before it all comes off again. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am now off to meet the Southampton bloggers at Revolution in, um, Bedford Place, which is near where I went to, do you remember when I went to La Caz, my mum, a little while ago? It's near there. Um, I've never been before, and Alice has beautifully got a 50% off card, which makes my life so great, because it means I can have some food <laughs> for not very much money, because <laughs> we are obviously paying for this, by the way, but she's got money off of food, which is beautiful. Thank, thank the Lord. Love Alice. Alice is my favourite person on the planet right now. <laughs> Yeah, I had a mooch around today, which was quite nice. It was a little bit lonely. Normally I'm all right shopping, but yeah, tonight we're seeing War Horse at the Mayflower Theatre. I'm so excited. It's been a show that my mum and I have wanted to see for so long. We've never booked tickets, and uh, my mum's like, if it's really good, we'll go again. Because <laughs> she really wants to see it, and she was thinking about coming tonight. Um, not as like part of the press. She was going to get her own ticket and sit on her own, and then we were going to meet in the interval. My mum's a lawyer. And unfortunately, she is really busy with work at the moment. Like, it's quite stressful what she's doing at the moment. So, unfortunately, she is not coming tonight. But I think it's here for a while in Southampton. Maybe we'll go see it and at some point in the not too far away future, I hope. Holy what's it that was in sugar honey ice tea that was flipping intense <laughs> oh my god oh my god okay so right oh mate <laughs> um, oh my god there's obviously going to be a full review on the blog which is going up tomorrow but like mates oh my god <laughs> it's not okay let me put my tripod on how do i attach it again I'm pitch black so I can't really see what I'm doing my only light is my camera <laughs> okay right mates okay right holy what's it so I met the girls for food at revolution food was amazing Alice had a 50% discount so Alice thank you um, <laughs> oh my god oh my god that was intense I get so excited about going to the theatre and and man I'm not okay right now I'm not okay. I need to think about moving at some point soon, but the car behind, well, not really behind me, but next to me, but it's kind of how they're angled is, um, is, uh, they've got the car door open and I don't really fancy hitting them right now, but that was bloody intense. If you haven't gone to see War Horse, go and see it. I am going to try and convince my mum that we can go again. Like, I really want to go and I really want her to see it. And I really want to be with her. Like, but mate, mate, oh my God. 
it was intense. The thing is, is I knew the story, so I knew the horse was gonna, mm, I don't wanna spoil it if you haven't read the book or seen the film before or seen the play before. Like, I knew what was gonna happen, but I still wasn't expecting it. <laughs> you, know what I, you know what I mean? It was kind of like when I saw Titanic, I was like, I knew what was happening, I knew the ship would sink, but you don't expect it, if you know what I mean. It's like, I don't know, I don't know. It's literally like the Titanic. I knew what was gonna happen, but I was like, no, it's not gonna happen, that's a lie. You're lying to me. Oh my God, it was so intense. And the actors were incredible, oh my God. And I'm re I was really concerned how they were gonna do the horses, the situation, because I'm, I'm, I'm always, I, I don't know. They look a bit, when I've seen pictures of the horses, like when I've seen pictures of it, I'm like, they look weird, they don't look real. But when they're moving and they're on stage, by Jove, do they look real? They look so real. They look amazing. Honestly, it was so good. Oh, man. I don't know how I'm going to write about this because I'm just so, like... Wow. I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm really... I'm honestly not okay right now. That was so good. I was so... And I'm not just saying that because I got complimentary tickets. No, I'm saying that because it was amazing. Like, I don't do reviews to give you rubbish opinions. My opinions are 100% honest and accurate. And I effing love that show. I got a program. So I'm going to be reading up on this tonight. <laughs> reading up on this tonight because, oh my God, it was so good. I'm just, I'm just not okay right now. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Okay, I need to go home. Hello, so I'm here at Parley Golf Oh my God, stop laughing at me. I'm here at Parley Golf Course. I've had college this morning and I've come to golf course with these two Muppets over here. Plus, plus more. Plus more? Plus more. Over there. <laughs>
I just wanna love you, I just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Just tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day We're at the wall and she's squeezing <laughs> 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 Hello! Hello! Um, I had an amazing time at Parley Golf Course earlier today. Um, it's currently half past five and I'm off to brownies right now. Um, I was there for a good couple of hours at Parley Golf Centre in Parley, which is uh, near Ferndale. And I'm literally going back there tonight, not there, but like around the corner from there tonight because that's where my brownies, that's where my brownies is in the next town over from there, from, from Pali, so practically going back where I came, and I'm going to be driving past it, so, <laughs> but yeah, it was really good, I had such a great time. Uh, uh, Megan is accompanied by two page boys who are children of a very good friend of the Melrones. So there we have the mother of the bride being greeted at the south door, boys Phantom 6. Now this one's a 1970s one, I think. Um, for those of you who are keen on the cars, uh, this is bringing the Prince of Wales um, members of the royal family, and uh, they will be making their way in directly into the choir. What is that the hat? <laughs> no, it looks like she's got a flamingo on her head. The bride, as uh, she enters just at the stroke of midday, we're just 13 years ago, and of course there too at that time, and there too today, Her Majesty the Queen and the Duke of making their way down, the, the Daimlers from the Royal Muse and um, making their way to, down the, to the lower wall. State trumpeters of the House of Cavalry with their grand fanfare telling everyone that Her Majesty has arrived at St. George's Chapel and that we are within two very different windows in terms of their quality but they're both like straight as usual and, and on, on perfect form, clearly elated. Dermot and Kirsty, I know, are also enjoying this scene now. And very what a nice. scene it is, what a and traditional dress with a splendid veil. Meghan Markle, the bride, is wearing her hair up. The veil has been caught in the May sunshine. Good morning, it is currently Sunday. Didn't really film much yesterday apart from the royal wedding little clips of that because it was just so cute and I just wanted to have a little bit in here as like a, a memory type thing if that makes sense, even though it's like already on YouTube and all over the royal family's social media accounts. <laughs> Wasn't it just so cute yesterday, the wedding? Like utter fairy tale-ness. Oh, it was so cute. Anyway, today is currently Sunday. I've got a fancy dress on because I'm actually going off to a christening today. Um, so I'm going to do my makeup in a minute. I'm going to eat some food first. That's really annoying. Um, yeah. So I never vlogged at the um, christening. And then I came home and I've just been doing work. So... I've been pretty rubbish at vlogging today, but that's okay because <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a fairly long one to edit anyway, so I'll forgive myself this once. <laughs> I don't really have much to tell you 
um, apart from the fact that I've been working all evening, well, afternoon into the evening, and the christening was very lovely, and all wonderful things like that. Um, but yes, I am actually going to end the vlog right now, as it is currently 11 o'clock, 20 past 11, and I should probably get some sleep before college tomorrow morning, so yes. I hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did please do give it a thumbs up yeah so give the vlog a thumbs up subscribe i make great content <laughs> and um i'll see you next week for another weekly vlog hopefully sooner with another video hopefully i'll get an la vlog up this friday bye